Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me and welcome to Lake. Thank you very much for tuning in. I have to say this was certainly not the top of my list of candidates to post my first comeback video. Let me briefly tell you about the circumstances surrounding this. So a couple of nights ago, I couldn't sleep and I decided, well, I'm going to boot up Steam and find a relaxing game to play. And I had a few new ones in there. And then I've had a few like Lake that have been sitting in there untouched and I downloaded it as a demo, never got around to playing it, and then it came out full release, and I saw enough in the little video clips that they have underneath the uh, advertisement that I said, I'll take a chance on it, and it's cheap. And at the time of recording this video, it's on sale right now, so I think it's like $5 off. But I'll leave a link down in the description, and uh, you can go over there and check it out for yourself if you'd like to download it and play it. But anyway. I loaded the game and I started my journey. Now, some of you may be thinking, what's so exciting about a 40-ish woman driving a postal truck around a small lake community? Well, to answer your question, there's nothing exciting about it at all. <laughs> but that's the point. The gameplay is simplistic, it's beautiful, and you really do get pulled into it via the Welcome Post storyline. You have quirky, small-town people with small-town problems, and some of them are a little bit on the big town problem side. But if you want to relax and simply enjoy a game without teeth grinding action or mind melting complexity, this is a great choice. And I think in these current times that we live in, we can all use a break from all sorts of stressful things, both in the game world and the real world. So it gets five stars from me. My thumb in there? Okay, there you go. <laughs> so another thing I just want to get right out there is I've never been one to do first impression style videos, meaning that I don't just open a game for the very first time, hit record and just play. So this is my very first ever first impressions video or, you know, first gameplay video. <laughs> so please be kind. <laughs> and speaking of kindness, I also really never made uh, videos with a webcam. So I'm slowly introducing this. I've got um, a whole bunch of fancy lights uh, for the webcam that I'm going to be setting up, but I just kind of wanted to get my feet wet and give it an initial test run. But um, I don't know about using it on a regular basis, but I figure at least for this video and maybe a few others, I might use it in the introduction like I'm doing now. So um, let me know what you think, but be nice. <laughs> if you're a dillweed, about it, then I'm going to delete your comment and block you. So there's no reason to be nasty. We're just putting it out there. <laughs> so let me quit the jibber jabber. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you episode one of Lake. I hope you enjoy. It's September 1st, 1986. We're taking on the role of the 40-something Meredith Weiss who returns from the big city to her quiet hometown. She exchanges her busy career at a software company, at it to fill in for her dad, the local mail carrier. During her stay in beautiful Providence Oaks, Oregon, she runs into a few familiar faces as well as plenty of new folks. As Meredith, we get to decide who to talk to, who to befriend, and perhaps even start, wink wink, romantic relationship. Whatever happens, at the end of her stint, she'll have to make up her mind, return to her demanding job in the big city, or stay in the town she grew up in. Hello? Meredith, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> Oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay. Right. Awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Man, that guy's a real pain in the neck. 
And good on you, Meredith, for dumping him off the phone with the uh, I have to go to bed excuse. <laughs> Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. This lake it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. All right, this is going to be a high pressure situation. We got to pull this off perfectly because old Frank is watching. Here's your mail. Reach in and get the letter. Boom. In the box. Turn around. Don't linger. Back to the truck. Fashion model walk. We did it. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Hey, that's a funny coincidence that she went to MIT. I've been involved with MIT ever since I could walk and talk. Although, the acronym for my MIT stands for Moron in Training. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. <sighs> all right. Final push. 103 High Street. Let's get her done. All right, Meredith. Remember your walk. Frank's watching. That's it. Perfect form. <laughs> Very nice yard. Nope. No answer. That's the last of them. There you go. A quick ring and a run. Just like the Amazon delivery guys. <laughs> Back to the truck we go. And I think after that, it's home sweet home. I think. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that. But you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Um, Frank, I'm no authority on sports, that's for sure. But I don't think the Mets and the Giants play each other. Mets are baseball, the Giants are football. <laughs> Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> The Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Oh, yummy. Blueberry pie. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. 
I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, yeah, this guy's going to be a real pain in the butt. I just wanted to take a pause here and uh, let everybody know that there is music in the game. It's actually very nice music. It's beautiful music. It comes from Epidemic Sound. So if you're a YouTube content creator and you have an Epidemic Sound subscription like I do, then you're, you're just fine. You can play the music along with the game. If you don't have a subscription, then you're going to have to jump through a few more hoops, just like the notice says here, and the notice is in game. So when you click on the sound settings um, down at the bottom, you click on the disclaimer and it's right there. It might take, you know, a little bit more rigmarole to uh, get a copyright claim taken off of your video if you don't have a subscription. I think it's probably just easier to just turn the music off if you don't have a subscription. So little heads up for you guys to keep life simple. Let's get back to the story. All right, bright and early Tuesday, September 2nd. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Lost? Me? Bon voyage! All right, toodaloo, Frankie. Oh, I'm so excited. Our first day solo on the job. Oh, that was a weird load-in. <laughs> All right, let's look at the map. So we go down to the end of the street and take a right. Once we deliver our packages on Main Street here. And I will say the uh, keyboard driving is a little bit choppy. So I tried an Xbox controller and a PlayStation 4 controller and uh, no luck. Looks like it's keyboard only, guys. All right. U.S. postal worker delivers the mail. I didn't bring the package. Or not. <laughs> I guess this was too much of a complex task. Forgot the package. What on earth did these folks order? All right. Take two. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. People love to browse the shop and then not buy anything. I wonder if that was a subtle hint for us to go ahead and be on our way. <laughs> well, she's just a uh, bundle of uh, smoky sunshine, isn't she? <laughs> All right, back on the job. Let's go. All right. Oh, I'm holding up traffic, huh? I was parked in the space. You can't go around? All right. Now... We'll just let that slip by. Okay, coming to an intersection. Nobody there. We'll park on the side street. That way we don't hold up any more traffic. There's no fire hydrants for me to tip over. Oh yeah, there we go. That's good enough. Alright, so this is an envelope. So we don't have to worry about going in the back. One hundred three Main Street. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Perfect execution, Meredith. Perfect. And on we go. We are a U.S. postal worker. Neither rain nor sleet nor dark of night will keep us from our rounds. We must deliver the mail. All right. Let's just wobble on down the road here. <laughs> I swear I'm completely sober. <laughs> Although we deviated a little bit, we're just like one block behind our turn, so I believe we just take a right. 
Let's have a look here. Yep, come down here, take a right, and go around the lake that way. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Gotta look both ways for cars. Look at that mountain, that's beautiful. I will say they could probably use a little a little bit more work on the water though. For a game that's named Lake, we could use a little bit more detail. I'm actually enjoying this. Nice little pull-off area there, a little memorial park area. Overall, I love the visual style of the game. The town is beautiful. Pick up the speed here a little bit. Let's see what this baby can do. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Yep, the mighty Ambrose. <laughs> we can't be distracted, Meredith. Otherwise, I'll be knocking over people's fences. 102 Lake Road. Okay. And according to the mini-map, looks like it just got an envelope. Wait for it. Boom. Okay, so we're going to go to, uh, was that 104? Yeah, the next stop. Should be right here. Watch, watch. Alright, a little bit crooked, but the cars are not going to go around me anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just don't want to block the fire hydrant. Ooh. Oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Meredith. Oh, if you were referring to me with that statement, I'll have you know that I'm a happily married man. None of that now. Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <coughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. <laughs> so I try to keep all the answers as polite as possible and uh because with a woman like that you're just not gonna win. Oh, look at this guy. He almost took my bumper off. This is my father's mail truck. Well, I'll tell you. The people in this town, they like run along, see you around, they're trying to push you out the door all the time. In a few days, I won't even need that map. Seems like they got nothing but time around here. Alright. Zip into the filling station here. Deliver our little package. Probably should back up here. Don't want to block the pumps. And let's see what strangeness awaits us at this stop. 
300 Lake Road. That's lighter than I thought. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Well, you're a very astute detective. Pick a little cheesy comment to respond with. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, ha, real funny. Oh, you're fresh. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. On oh, one condition, If there's huh? ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Well, I mean, who the hell else will we bring it to? Right. The only place in All town. Alright, I promise. Good! Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. <laughs> Giving it a big old bang on the dashboard, huh? <laughs> it's funny, I've heard that advice before, but not in this particular situation. <laughs> but I'll resist elaborating on that kind of joke. All right, here we go. On to the next adventure. I wish you can zoom out with the camera a little bit more to see the scenery and uh, enjoy the lake. It's really nice. The graphics style in this game gives me like uh, a Firewatch vibe. Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? So it looks like we have to go to this place here. Got our waypoint. We don't get lost in the woods. And let's see. And I think we'll stay to the right. Oh, look at this, a covered bridge. Now that's nice. Let's see what kind of view we have off of it. Not bad. Like I said, I really do think the water could have used a bit more attention. Just a critique, not a complaint. Oh, right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. Okay, oh, well there's the house, so I guess that's it up there. see who comes out of this place. I think that's half the fun with this game is interacting with everybody. There's a new face. Yes indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Oh, what the... That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bullcrap. Freshly baked bullcrap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Jeez. <laughs> I will say, everybody so far has been very direct in this game. <laughs> you don't have to wonder what people are thinking, that's for sure. Have a nice day. Which means, goodbye, run along. Alright, have a look at the map here. So it looks like we're going to go to 500 Lake Road. So we're going to come out and take a left out of here and then follow that road around. Okay. This is nice back here.
All the foliage is very nicely done. Be nice if you had like little dust clouds and stuff when you're driving down the dirt road though. Oh, deer sign. Keep an eye out for the for the deer. Okay, coast is clear. And of course, look at that. I wonder what happens if you hit the deer by accident again. If it'll clip through or if it makes damage or whatever. Spin the mystery wheel. Where are we going to come out? Of course, we could look at the mini map, but that's not fun. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Yeah, definitely I'm getting the Firewatch vibe. I don't know if anybody's played Firewatch. It's on Steam and PlayStation. I think Xbox, too. Whoa. This is close to where I had my first kiss. Oh, is that a fact, Meredith, huh? We'll leave it at that. No TMI. Nice little neighborhoods. All the houses are very well maintained. Little picket fences around everything. Just what you would think if you thought about a little lakeside community, you know? Hey, watch out for traffic. Don't want any of those big 1980s tank style cars to come and plow us. <laughs> I had a 1969 Buick Electra. That was my very first car. Got it for 150 bucks. And then later on, when that one tanked out, it needed a transmission. I couldn't afford it at the time. So uh, then I got a 1980-something it was. It was a cream color. Uh, Plymouth Newport had a half vinyl top, like I call it a Landau top, where the roof was half vinyl, half paint. What a nightmare that stuff was. It used to rot underneath the vinyl. <laughs> You'd have to peel that vinyl off and repair the roof and then just paint it. Alright. Looks like we got a package to deliver down at the diner. And there stands diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Eh, yeah, 22 years, Meredith. Things change. A lot of things change in that kind of time. I can't believe how much things have changed around where I live in just the last three years. It's like a totally different place. It's so built up now. That's lighter than I thought. When I came here, some of the neighboring streets were uh, nothing but desert, and now they're multifamily homes and all kind of condos and stuff like that, all brand new. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But my gosh, it's you, all right? Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. But, Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Oh, I'm and Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Take 
Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Oh, is everything okay, hon? Yeah, no, it's just fine, fine. You found her. Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof, and now this? Oh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. <laughs> well, she didn't send us off in a rude manner, but her greeting has a little bit to be desired, huh? Ah, uh, got some gray hair and some lines and wrinkles there, Meredith. Ah, uh, just what a lady wants to hear. <laughs> hey, didn't Ashley remind you of, uh, one of the, uh, old Charlie Brown cartoons? You know, the way they talk, you know, <laughs> I crack myself up. Alright, so, back to the post office we go. I think our shift is almost over here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump cut, and, uh, I'll get back to you when we're near the center of town. Oh, now that's pretty cool. You can hear the suspension squeaking and jiggling. <laughs> I probably should have backed it in, but yeah, we'll just do a decent parking job. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. <laughs> I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. I could swear that the voice actors that play Meredith, the mother, and the boss, they sound just like the same voice actors that do the dialogue for Bus Simulator. I wonder if it's the same people. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? All right, so I think we'll leave it here at Wednesday, September 3rd. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.